Leaf spot and melting out are common but different lawn diseases that share many characteristics. They both start as spots on grass blades but will even affect your turf's root system. Though these diseases are similar, they develop in different environments. So in this video, we'll show you the differences between leaf spot and melting out, and how to treat them so your lawn stays green through the growing season. To shop the products in this video and learn even more about leaf spot control, click the icon in the top right of the screen, or click the links in the description below. Leaf spot and melting out are caused by different pathogens. The melting out fungus is active during mild, wet months when air temperatures are around 55 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, and the leaf spot fungus is active during warmer, wet months when temperatures are 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. You might first notice leaf spot patches as irregularly shaped patches of dead grass of varying sizes. As a rule of thumb, try to spot any lawn disease patch as soon as possible so you can get an accurate ID sooner and have an easier time treating it. Once you've spotted patches, take a closer look at the blades to get a better idea of what you may be dealing with. Early stages of leaf spot or melting out will look like lesions on the grass's blades. These lesions can have varying appearances depending on what grass it affects, from tan spots with purple borders to yellow spots with a water-soaked appearance. Timing is key, especially with either of these lawn diseases. Finding the disease early can make identification easier, but late-stage leaf spot or melting out can actually progress to affect the crowns and roots of grass. Once the crowns and roots are affected, they will start to rot. Check your lawn for signs of leaf spot or melting out and areas where these diseases can develop. Melting out is known to affect cool season grasses, but fescues are particularly vulnerable. Leaf spot affects cool season grasses as well, but can also affect warm season grasses, especially Bermuda grass. Look for patches of discolored grass, then proceed to do up-close inspections. Since these diseases develop in prolonged periods of wetness, look for areas in your lawn that are particularly shaded or have poor drainage. Take note of any signs and conditions when you find them, as they'll direct where you will focus your treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Use a fungicide like Patch Pro as a treatment to stop and control the growth of lawn diseases and fungi. Patch Pro is a systemic fungicide, so it will absorb into the vegetation and attack the disease head on, leaving the plant unharmed. Make sure you're applying the correct labeled rate to achieve desired results. Despite being different diseases, Patch Pro is labeled to treat leaf spot and melting out with the same rates. To get rid of leaf spot and melting out, apply Patch Pro at the labeled rate of 1 to 2 fluid ounces per thousand square feet of treatment area, with enough water to sufficiently treat the area. Typically, one gallon of water will treat 1,000 square feet. Be sure not to mow your lawn until the product is dry, or just mow your lawn before application. Since leaf spot and melting out primarily affect the grass blades, it is recommended to not water your lawn until the treatment dries. This treatment and the labeled guidelines will ensure you control and reduce disease activity in your lawn. When it comes to turf and vegetation diseases, it is always best to apply before the disease takes root. For general prevention, it is recommended you apply a Patch Pro in the spring, summer, or fall, when conditions are conducive for disease development. Do not apply more than the maximum labeled rate of 16 ounces per thousand square feet per year. We recommend using a 1-gallon hand pump sprayer to apply a Patch Pro since you will be making localized treatments rather than broadcasting over the entire lawn. First, open the spray tank and fill it about halfway with water. Add the proper amount of Patch Pro, close the sprayer, and shake to distribute the chemical. Then, open the sprayer and add the remaining amount of water up to the 1-gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even distribution of the chemical throughout the solution. Apply Patch Pro to areas affected by leaf spot or melting out and surrounding areas to prevent spread. For preventative treatments, you may apply Patch Pro to areas that you know will be affected by either lawn disease when conditions become conducive for disease development. Also, treat areas in your lawn that are heavily shaded or have poor water drainage. Be sure to spray turf to the point of wet and not runoff. Make a follow-up application 14 days after your initial treatment. After about two weeks, you should see a noticeable reduction in the size of afflicted turf. An effective way to protect your lawn from diseases and fungi is to maintain its health and keep it strong. By taking proper care of your grass, it's more capable of fighting off leaf spot when it comes around, thus halting the spread of the disease. Rake and dethatch your lawn so more sunlight, water, and future chemical treatments can more easily reach the soil. Trim back tree branches to reduce shade on your lawn. These will not only help nutrients reach your turf, but also encourage evaporation and drainage so your lawn can retain the proper amounts of moisture. 
Water your lawn properly. Your lawn needs 1 to 1.5 inches of water every week, whether that's through rainfall or irrigation. Water your lawn once a week on the same day every morning. It's better to water your grass deeply once a week than to do it a little every day. Deep watering will encourage stronger roots, whereas shallow watering will create a weaker root system that's more susceptible to disease. Be careful not to overwater, as this may cause leaf spot or melting out to develop. Be sure to mow your grass to the proper height. Tall grass encourages deeper root growth and strengthens your lawn. You want your grass to be about 3 to 4 inches in height, so adjust your mower accordingly. Take some time to make sure your mower is in good shape. The oil should be changed at least once a year, and the blades should be sharpened regularly. Finally, keep up with the proper fertilizing schedule. By keeping nitrogen levels stable and laying fertilizers high in potassium, you'll maintain a strong lawn that's better equipped to fight disease. Leaf spot and melting out are foliar lawn diseases that can spread to the roots if left unchecked. But you can control it yourself with these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn. These products will help you get control of your leaf spot problem, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.